again, it's me, and I'm talking about, and I will be talking about, I mean, I will be talking about political abolitionism once again in this video clip. I'm going to discuss about uh, Canada. Canada is another country where the, the head of state is Queen Elizabeth II, and again, uh, I would have to say that Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth II should give up her position as the ceremonial head of state of Canada. Canada was once originally inhabited by Indians, or uh, we call them as American Indians, the Redskins. And those people haven't yet, or they had not yet, uh, someone from their side to become, uh, they never had someone from the Redskins uh, who, had, who became or who would become the head of state of Canada because, of course, uh, since the monarchical system still reigns in Canada, uh, the would be head of state after Queen Elizabeth II of Canada would be again a white man or a white woman because the Windsors are white. So there is a necessity. For Canada to achieve full racial equality, the Redskins uh, should be given a chance uh, to have someone from their uh, racial grouping to become Canada's head of state. And the only way to do that is for the Canadian government to peacefully and lawfully abolish the monarchical system in Canada. Someday, Canada should become a full fledged republic, too. So, I'm calling upon the white citizens of Canada to peacefully and lawfully struggle to persuade their own government and Queen Elizabeth II to make Canada a full-fledged republic soon. That's the only way for Canada to achieve full racial equality, and that's the only way for Canada to achieve a moral and real democracy in this ancient time. Uh, we also know that the, Cana uh, that the Canadian question in Quebec is still strong. So the only way uh, for Quebecans to achieve uh, full equal, full equal, uh, what we call this, uh, full. full uh, the only way for the Quebecans to achieve real ethnic equality with those living in the Anglo-Saxon in the Anglo-Saxon provinces of Canada is for Canada to dissolve its monarchical system. So Canada should become a full-fledged republic soon.